Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about button down collar rules. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this or you find it useful, I would appreciate it, as always, if you'd like it down below. And last but not least, I'm going to be linking you to a useful article and my free 47 page ebook on men's style. Okay, guys, this is the question that came in. Came in from a good friend of mine named Jonathan, and he writes me from Texas and he's asking, Antonio, we had a seminar on business etiquette last week, and the discussion of wearing a button-down collared shirt with a suit came up. The speaker was very adamant that men should never wear a button-down collar shirt with a suit, only with a blazer. To a limited degree, I agree with her. However, if you're in a working environment where suits are hardly ever worn, are you just happy just to see men making the effort, and should we try to make them feel bad if they break this rule? All right, so Jonathan's got a good point, and it's something that, so let me just go ahead and explain the rules and then I'll talk about the bigger issue, which is, you know, what if you see someone violating the rule? Okay, so button down collars, they are casual. And so normally you would, wouldn't see them worn with a suit because a suit by its very nature is more formal. So it's like mixing water and oil. You just, when, when they just don't go well together. Now, take it down a notch and as we know, right below, below a suit, comes a blazer with a pair of dark trousers. So it's not truly a suit. And that's where about as formal as I would recommend that a man wear a button down uh, collared shirt with you know, this type of a setup. Now with a sports jacket, with a pair of odd trousers or even denim, it looks much better. It fits the very nature of the item and the clothing. And then when you're wearing a dress shirt by itself, well, you, hopefully you have pants on, otherwise you're gonna get uh, you know hauled off to uh, <laughs> Okay, you know what I'm saying, guys. So basically, if you're wearing a shirt by itself and wearing a sports jacket, that's when the button down looks pretty good because it matches the casual nature of the outfit that you're trying to pull off. Now, matching it with a tie. Ties are a bit more formal in nature, although there are many casual ties. So match it with a casual tie, it looks pretty good. And what I mean by casual, let's go with something that's made perhaps from a, a worsted wool or it's got a bit of a uh, nap surface to it or even a, uh, a silk tie that has a very casual pattern to it. I'm not talking novelty ties here. I'm talking ones that have uh, repeat patterns. Uh, probably about a striped tie is about as formal as I would want to go with a uh, the button down. Now. So those are, in general, the rules. However, whenever I see a man violating the rules, and I've broken these rules, by the way, I'm not gonna mention it, because a true gentleman never, you know, points out, unless you've got something hanging from your, you know, on, on your teeth, you know, then you're gonna go tell somebody. But if, if it's a small thing like that, you're not going to, you know, correct them. If somebody has their jacket unbuttoned, you don't go up to them and button them because it's one of those things that you just don't, you respect another man and the way he puts himself together. Now, you may want to offer guidance in a, you know, a very gentle way. Perhaps it's something that you may point out that, hey, I found this great website and they've got all this good information. You want to check out this video. What do you think? You know, that's a much better way of pointing it out than actually, you know, trying to embarrass the guy in, in front of other people. That's the one thing you don't, because people are not going to remember what you say to them. People remember how you make them feel. Remember that. It's pretty important. And you don't want to, you know, ever make anyone feel small or inferior because really that that's, you know, what, what does it say about you as a person? And so that's my rule on, or my rule when it comes to dressing is that I don't, you know, overstep my boundaries and try to, you know, push something. And I never say never because I have seen some, some men pull things off which I didn't think could be done. But at the end of the day, you know, my advice is don't wear that combination, but if you see somebody who is, or if you do, you know, more power to you and <laughs> best of luck. Uh, but I, someone should not overstep their boundaries and try to uh, correct that. All right, Jonathan, I hope that helped. And if you uh, have any more questions about men's style, make sure to uh, check out the links down below. I'm going to link you some useful articles that will talk in more detail about this, especially the button down collar. So in case you have any questions about it, you can go see exactly what I mean by a button-down collar. Okay, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.